Rick holds his arms to receive the impact from the opponent's upper and lower arms. The fists of the defender are close together, similar to forming a Y greeting. The defender's elbow is away from the body, about the length of one hand, with his head and face hidden behind his fists. His eyes are watching for the left punch of the opponent, which the defender then returns hard with his elbow. If the opponent sends a right punch, the defender returns in the opposite way. Remember to be both defender and attacker when practicing. Tawa Sadha. This skill is designed to avoid a straight punch from the opponent. Attack from the outside with your elbow to practice. A. The attacker punches left to the face of the defender and steps forward. B. The defender steps to the right, leaning at about a 60 degree angle, with his weight on his right foot. He bends his right arm and strikes with his elbow at the attacker. Then the defender raises his left hand to sweep the opponent's left hand away and hit with the elbow elsewhere. Your practice should begin from right, then the left, in the game of defending and attacking to improve speed. You must practice each skill carefully. Yokao Patsumain. This skill is to cope with the opponent's straight punch by stepping forward and sending a hook to the chin of the opponent. To practice, A. The attacker sends a straight punch and balances on his left foot. B. The defender steps forward with his right foot and lowers his body. He then bends his right knee, left leg stretched. He is leaning over at about a 60 degree angle with his weight on his right foot. Then he springs his body up together with sending a right punch into his opponent's chin, always raising his left arm to the level of his chin to protect himself. You should practice as both defender and attacker as usual until you learn it by heart. Once you achieve four or five skills, you should start practicing from the first skill so you won't forget. This skill will allow you to protect against and return a straight punch from your opponent. It is the same as the fifth skill you learned, except the difference is the foot placing and leaning the body just a little only. To practice, A. The attacker punches left straight and steps forward to the left. B. The defender steps left foot forward in a circle of the opponent's arm and bending his left knee a little with his right knee straight. His body is leaned over at a 60 degree angle. Then he stretches up and punches left at the opponent's chin. Use the right arm to sweep the opponent's arm away and remember to practice both sides. Switch sides when practicing in order to become skillful in both attacking and defending.
Mon Yan Lak. This skill is to defend against the straight right and left punch from the opponent by using the tip of the foot or heel to pick at the upper chest or lower stomach. It is used when fighting with an opponent who has long arms and is taller, or with an opponent who uses weapons rather than bare hands. To practice, A, the attacker sends a straight left punch and steps forward to the left. B, the defender bends to the right about 45 degrees to duck away from the opponent with his weight on his right foot. Both arms are raised at face level with eyes fixed on the opponent. The defender quickly lifts his left heel to kick at the upper chest or lower stomach. When practicing, switch sides from attacking to defending and vice versa. If fighters get in a clinch, separate them and continue practice until mastering equivalent skills to other fighters of equal rank. Bear in mind that you practice Muay Thai to master it. Therefore, you need to be disciplined always so that you can learn the true art of Muay Thai. Don't forget that discipline makes the man and man creates work. Works of art require the expertise of those who really are truly dedicated. It is only then that it becomes a true masterpiece. This skill is to defend against a sweep kick from the opponent by using the elbow. This move must be synchronized with the kick. To practice, A, the attacker stands in front of the defender at the kicking range. He then sweep kicks at the rib cage of the defender from right to left, his body bending a bit and his arms raised to protect his face. B. The defender then turns left and backs up his left foot, bending his right elbow to receive the kick of the opponent and with his left arm raised at face level to protect his face. If an opposite move is made, if the attacker attacks from the left, defend from the opposite side. Again remember to switch sides when in practice. This skill must be done very quickly without the opponent anticipating it. To practice, A. The attacker steps backwards to duck from the opponent's kick. B. The defender turns himself quickly by using the foot he kicked before as the main leg. Then he turns around and uses the other foot to kick at the chin or upper chest of the opponent. Notice. Turning and kicking must be done very quickly. Don't let the opponent notice or anticipate your move. Practice both defender and attacker. When practicing, remember to do it just gently. Try not to be hit. Just practice to master the skill. This skill is used to return the opponent's kick by cutting the strength of his leg. This is done by using the elbow to hit at the thigh. Sometimes both knees are used in order to give the opponent a sprained leg so he will not wish to go on fighting. To practice, A. The attacker lifts his right foot to sweep kick at the rib cage of the defender. His arms are at face level to protect it. B. The defender steps right foot to the attacker at almost a tight close range. The defender turns left, raises his right knee with his left foot stretched, 
Then he uses his left hand to catch the opponent's right leg at his side. Then he bends over and places his right elbow into the thigh of the attacker. When lifting the opponent's leg, a defender should lift it high so that the opponent cannot hit back with his elbow. Notice, if the attacker punches right straight, counterattack in the opposite way. If you want to cut the strength of the opponent, do hit with arms and elbows at the same time. When practicing, use the upper arm to press down instead of the elbow to prevent danger. This skill is intended to receive the opponent's kick by catching his foot, twisting it aside from the defender's body, and throwing your knees at the shin of the opponent in order to break it. To practice, A, the attacker uses his right leg to sweep kick at the rib cage of his opponent, arms raised to protect his face. B, the defender then turns left weight on his left foot as his left hand catches the heel of the opponent. His right hand catches the tip of the opponent's foot and twists it away from the body. Then he raises his right knee to kick at the inner thigh of the opponent. Notice, when practicing this skill, be careful when catching your opponent's foot by using both hands. If he attacks with his left foot, do the opposite. When practicing, hit the knee softly at the thigh or else the bone might break. This skill is to receive a straight punch by returning with a punch to the face or to the eye sockets to make the opponent's eyes become blurred. Sometimes this is called putting his lights out. To practice, A. The attacker punches directly at the face of the defender and steps forward with the left foot. His right hand is at his chin. B. The defender steps to the right ducks outside the punch of the opponent, bends to the right with his weight on his right foot and his right knee slightly bent. His left foot is stretched. He then bends his right arm to sweep and presses the opponent's left arm so that it falls to the left. The defender presses the attacker's arm down, then punches his opponent with his left fist between the mouth and the nose or at the eye socket. He then jumps back. Notice, if the attacker launches a right punch, return with the opposite. 